Go. You're Hello, on. My name is Don Treader. <laughs> I'm here at Dr. Scott Geller's office, and I have received treatment for my eye floaters. Well, let's let's ask a few questions. First of all, this okay. is being recorded uh, April 15th, Tax Day, Revolution Day, uh, 2015. 1515. Uh, <laughs> we all paid our taxes, and everybody's... Happy or not happy? Anyway, you developed a, you had a cataract operation three years ago. Correct. And it was successful, of course, but you developed a posterior vitreous separation or detachment subsequent to the cataract surgery? Yes. How, how long after the surgery was I, it? It was about two years where I noticed something wasn't right. And okay. I went to my ophthalmologist who said, you had this PVD, which I had never heard of before. He also said, uh, you can't do anything about that. And it was kind of shocking because it was, it was a, a pretty serious nuisance, uh, more of a mental anguish, nothing medically, according to him, or pathologically wrong, but certainly was bothersome. Um, and um, I discovered on the website Dr. Scott Gell is, is dealing with these issues, and he's one of the few people in the country or the world, I think, that do it. And we have been dealing with this for over 20 years, and I've done thousands and thousands of patients, but what did your doctor up there tell you about? You asked him about a laser procedure? I asked him if, uh, if there is anything that can be done and that, that he, his response was, uh, our industry does not consider this medically necessary or there's just, we, don't, we ignore these issues. And it's kind of discouraging because uh, it was pretty hard to ignore. Uh, it was bothersome. It was in my trade. I need to see up close, and blocking, occasional blockings of my vision was affecting my work. Right, um, and then you had a fairly large opacity, uh, which encroached on the visual axis. Did you mention specifically laser to him at all, or the um, optometrist? I mentioned that I found someone that's doing this. Yes, I did. And their comment was? Their comment was, well, you should ask yourself uh, why, if you went anywhere in the leading eye centers in the country, why they're not dealing with this. And my response was, yeah, that's my question to you. Why aren't they? I'm not alone in, in this, in this uh, problem. Um, and um, I was grateful that I was able to find someone that could help me. Yeah, and my answer to why they're not doing it is that they have never been trained in it, and I personally went to Switzerland. Uh, they do not have the right equipment. The lasers they have are not made to work in the vitreous gel. And so when they go ahead and try it with no training and inadequate equipment, of course they fail. And then they pass that down to the next generation of ophthalmologists by saying, well, we are here at Mass Eye and Ear, and I tried this 20 years ago, and it doesn't work. But here we have a patient that says it does work, and of course this is anecdotal. Uh, somebody could say he's having a placebo effect, but you don't believe that, do you? I, I know what I see. And after day <laughs> okay. one, I had drastic improvement. After day two, even more improvement. And it's I, pretty well pulverized I, now. I it's gone. I think it's pretty much yeah. 100% eliminated. Uh, I'm thrilled. I'm ready to move on. And it's, I'm just grateful to Dr. Geller that, that he was able to help me. And uh, I, I wish there was more people that a little bit more, uh, a little bit more accessible to this type of thing. Uh, although I did enjoy coming down, but uh, again, it's. Uh, it's uh, a little discouraging, I would think, for someone in this trade, or Dr. Geller doing this, and the support from his own colleagues just doesn't seem to be there. Or and they are welcome to come down, but you, know, you have to have an interest to want to do it in the first place. Uh, and the reason I keep coming to work all the time, if I don't even consider this work, this is pleasure for me, although I get paid for it, uh, uh, is that I love seeing patients like you. I love the challenge. And thank you for saying that. Okay.